Hello, Richard Beach here with Sonic State Amped, and welcome to this, our feature where we're doing a bike size review of a boss pedal every day for a month. That's almost the whole range of boss pedals. Today, we're looking at the Power Stack, the ST2. So, Power Stack basically means we're looking at a pedal which is supposed to model a bunch of high gain amps. It has a, a gain dial here, which uh, rather than just being a gain dial, changes the style of sound from sort of more uh, vintage stacks right the way through to modern stacks, if that's basically what that's doing. Before we start, here's our dry sound. Uh, well, the first guitarist that comes to my mind for using a big stack is Eddie Van Halen. So I wanna see if we can get the brown sound by cranking everything to 10, apart from the, the sound dial, because uh, he used a 60s Marshall, so we're gonna keep that in the middle so we can have a fairly vintage-esque guitar sound. <laughs> So, not quite high gain enough for Eddie, so let's reel this up a bit. A little bit closer. Uh, so obviously EVH wasn't the only guitarist to use a stack. Uh, what I'm going to do is take everything down a little bit and we'll see if we can get a bluesier tone, the likes that uh, Mr. Gary Moore might have got. So we could get plenty of feedback on that sound if we wanted to. So in terms of getting a high gain sound, I think it does it really nicely. Uh, there's not too many sort of harsh harmonics in the mid range. It's quite smooth. It's a really good quality sounding distortion pedal for my money. Uh, what I want to do is see how heavy you can take it because obviously if it's saying it's a power stack and it has from crunch to ultra on the sound level, then you should be able to get the type of sounds you can get from modern high distortion, high gain amps uh, coming out of America, for example, Mesa Boogie rectifiers. So let's see if it can do that. Uh, gonna push the treble in the middle a little bit harder. <laughs> So my answer would be you can get close to it, um, not massively high gain, but I do expect if I pushed my amp a little bit harder and I got a bit more volume out of the power tubes, I could do that. If you were plugging into a transistor amp, for example, uh, again, you could do the same thing just by lifting the gain slightly on your amp. So as far as it goes for being a high gain distortion pedal, I think it's actually got a very pleasant high gain distortion sound. If you're really going for something thrashy with a lot of grunt, this might not be what you want to go for. You might want to go for the boss uh, mega distortion, uh, sorry, metal distortion or something like that. So yeah, a great pedal, really good if you're wanting a classic high gain stack sound right up to about the 90s, I'd say. Anything a bit more modern, then perhaps not. So there you go. Hope this was helpful.